looks like now we have a brawl on our hands. contest is a steel cage match and is for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. Lock the doors. Hide your kids. The Hide your wife. Friends is in the house. Sure, this guy's fit to be tied, but his resume speaks for itself. A Grand Slam champion in WWE, one of the most successful competitors of this generation. And guys, my sources tell me he's got a smoking hot wife. That'd be Renee, Byron. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match.
making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean Ambrose. Introducing the champion from Grand Rapids, Michigan, weighing in at 150 pounds, he is the WCW World Heavyweight Champion, Pretty Boy. Don't go anywhere. Two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one on one matchup. Well, the door's locked, and at this point, the competitors might just be wondering exactly what they've gotten themselves into. Setting him up for the. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi, the two men inside a ring surrounded by chicken wire. At first, these types of matches were referred to as fence matches. He's got the shoulders down. Talk about rocking the jaw. Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s through the mid-1980s, chain link fences were used to enclose the ring for WWE steel cage matches. A superstar could win by pinfall submission or by exiting the cage through the cage door or climbing over the top of the cage. We should also point out, Michael, that the way to win a steel cage match can vary by match depending on what was agreed to before contracts to compete in the match were signed. Talking about history at WrestleMania 2, WWE built the redesigned steel cage with solid steel blue bars before returning to chain link mesh in the late 1990s. Before 2017's Extreme Rules, there were just three previous tag team matches where championship gold was decided inside a steel cage in the history of WWE special events. The Hardy Boys were in two of those matches. At Extreme Rules, in order to win the match, both members of the team had to exit the cage and have both feet on the floor. The Hardys used their famous continuity to gain the early advantage until Cesaro and Sheamus utilized their devastating power to slow the pace of the match down. Both teams battled atop the steel cage, but in the end, Sheamus and Cesaro won the race to the arena floor to become new Raw Tag Team Champions. Byron, before 2017's Extreme Rules, there were just three previous tag team matches where championship gold was decided inside a steel cage in the history of WWE special events. The Hardy Boys were in two of those matches. At Extreme Rules, in order to win the match, both members of the team had to exit the cage and have both feet on the floor. The Hardys used their famous continuity to gain the early advantage until Cesaro and Sheamus utilized their devastating power to slow the pace of the match down. Both teams battled the top of the steel cage, but in the end, Sheamus and Cesaro won the race to the arena floor to become new Raw Tag Team Champions. Looking at Dean Ambrose's tenure in WWE, Ambrose has always been an odd personality. Here he goes. Not so fast. On the comeback trail. Michael going for the big one. You gotta believe this one's over. That has gotta be it. That might be the end of Dean Ambrose tonight. He 
Dean Ambrose prides himself on being the Iron Man of WWE, being on the road 300 days a year. Despite his work ethic, he has always been seen as an unlikely face of the company. Well, I believe Dean is fully aware of that perception. There's a lot of guys in WWE who care about image, but Ambrose really doesn't. He only knows how to be Dean Ambrose. Right to the spine. Picking up on your previous statement, Byron. Image is something Dean Ambrose should concern himself with. You should carry yourself as a WWE superstar. Wash your hair once in a while. Wear proper attire. It shouldn't matter what he wears, Corey. It's about what's on the inside. Dean Ambrose does what he does because he loves it. Here's the pin. Title on the line. And that was only a one. Too soon. Boom. <laughs> him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. Oh man, Dean Ambrose is really feeling the pressure. Oh, what an incredible power. He's looking at it. Oh boy, he is rolling. What's he got in mind? No one was expecting this. What are his intentions for being out here right now? Being unhinged, unstable is the calling card of Dean Ambrose. But Corey, I know you don't see Ambrose as one of the smartest superstars on the roster. No, I don't. However, I do see Ambrose as having an uncanny tolerance for pain. Doesn't matter how many car wrecks this lunatic puts himself through, Dean Ambrose doesn't have enough common sense to quit. Now in full control. As Corey spoke to Dean Ambrose's pain tolerance, it's worth noting that Ambrose is usually inflicting the pain on himself. He doesn't care what he does to his body as long as he punishes his opponent. Using your body as a weapon, that is the M.O. of Dean Ambrose. You have to admire a man who's never afraid to swing for the fences. Wow, can't believe Dean Ambrose got out of that one. He's looking banged up. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Just a step quicker at the site. Ooh, he goes down hard. Yeah, he's definitely starting to fade now. Oh, come on, ref. Yeah, you can't let him get away with that. Not in a match this big. Oh, somehow. Well, Dean Ambrose is the Iron Man after all, so it's going to take more than that to beat him. Oh, right on combo. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. At what point do those thoughts creep in of, what do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self doubt. I'm not sure how long this will last, but he's fired up right now. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. I'll tell you what. This is one they'll be tough. The champ retains. When you introduce the enclosure, everything is possible. What a match this was. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell.
Here is your winner, and still WCW World Heavyweight Champion, Pretty Boy. Quite some back and forth there before finally picking up the win. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. And I'd say that match certainly lived up summer.